Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing well. Today I'm actually going to be doing a, a product review. So you're going to witness me um, opening up uh, some uh, reflexology um, and acupressure uh, socks. So <laughs> this is my first time actually featuring these. So I'm doing this live with you all here. <laughs> just received these in the mail the other day and figured that I would come forth with these and allow you all to you know, to see these and I am going to do a review <laughs> these so I'm just yeah, opening up the package here and see what we are working with just want to be able to show you all just how you can continue in your practice of DIY bodywork. So there's two uh, packs here. So I'm just going to just open up one. It actually comes with with the acupressure pointer stick too, which you can use. So goes solid plastic one. Normally the ones that I uh, use are kind of the metal kind, but those work as well. So we have our left and right, and it shows the chart, the foot chart here. So I'm actually going to be looking on these to see uh, how accurate uh, they are with their charts. And here are the instructions. Oops, I'm just showing this to you. All right, actually, so I need to stretch these out before putting them on. All right. Okay. So this is the left. And this is the right. So let me just get a let me just get a glimpse of these. <laughs> it's interesting because it's saying this is the left and this is the right, and this is actually my left foot and my right foot. <laughs> so so I'm just looking at just the chart. Different reflexology and acupressure uh, charts sometimes have different organs uh, in, in different areas. But as when I'm teaching the DIY, of course, the massage aspect or so, sometimes, as you all know, I try not to get too technical with certain things because if you're just rubbing across organs, um, just gently or you know or so I like to point you know some of them out and sometimes they're right in the certain region um, but then on other charts they could be somewhere different so I don't want you to look on a chart and get alarmed to think that you've been touching you know kind of the wrong areas um, just it's different on different people's feet but if you're in the region then generally it's you know you're getting the same benefits but when you're just doing the the rubbing and the massage aspect you know it's a little bit different than when you're actually working the doing the reflexology you know aspect which of course those of you who follow me know that I do do the guidance through which are each of the areas or so but now it's interesting because on these I do see that some of the organs are not necessarily in the traditional area, but at the same time, I'm going to do I'm going to do the stretching out because maybe whenever it you actually do put it on your feet, maybe it does change up a little bit. But I I still wouldn't think so because it um, yeah it's, it's kind of interesting, but overall I believe that it's they're they're very close for sure the only ones that I see that may be a little bit off is the stomach um, having it on both feet and then the kidney where the kidney and adrenal um, glands are um, is a little bit different but 
this will still work because regionally it's still fine so I'm actually going to do some demonstration here so <laughs> let's see how this how this works here I'm putting <laughs> putting them on well that wouldn't be right <laughs> Oh, I see. Now, okay. Now I understand why I had it wrong. Because of the way I had it positioned. So, I can get my little toe in there. <laughs> you all bear with me here. <laughs> ah. Wow. It's not as easy to get in here. It's uh Okay, so give me just a moment, y'all. This is a different type of sock. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> All right, we're going to start doing some work here in just a moment. Then, of course, I'll come back later and do some uh, reflexology and... And massage too without without the sock. So okay. So I'm just showing these off here. <laughs> you can see how these work, and whether I'm going to recommend these for my students. Um, so I am going to actually use the the pointer here and do some kind of some guidance. Wow. So as you all know that when you work along with me, I'm often walking up the spine. So they do have the spine, you know, reflex in the right place here. And um, so, yeah, so just showing that. And of course, we work the sinus pads and it actually says sinuses on there. So, yeah, got that. Then right in here should be the eyes. So let me make sure, yep, there's, there's the eyes and the ears and shoulder down here. Kind of have to turn it over to see. But I guess I could get the instructions and see if they, they don't actually have it labeled. I know where, you know, all of the organs are. But um, then trying to be mindful of where they could be on here. So right in here should be the lung area. Let me make sure, yep. So you've got the lungs, you've got the heart, you've got the shoulder, ears. So it's interesting they have the adrenal gland over here, but that's still in the region, even though it's pretty much right in here and then the kidneys are right in there. They've got that a little bit down. So, um, so yeah, and then the colon and everything. So it's it's pretty, I, I would say that this would still be a good one, you know, to use and to leverage. So let me go on here. Yep, the genital organs and everything, small intestines, colon, all of that is right in there. So be a good idea if you all get um, a pair of these or something similar. Uh, for sure to definitely leverage now something I'm going to uh, Use this for right now is actually to do the liver 3 for acupressure and so we know That the liver 3 is found right here in this valley So I'm actually just going to do a little bit of work on there Just want to see how it feels to you know through this sock I'm so used to working on myself and others barefoot <laughs> yeah. But I have worked on myself, you know, with, with with socks on as well. Just, I don't do that very often. So, okay. So that's pretty good. So, just do a little spine walking here. Yeah. So I'm going to hold my feet up so you can see. <laughs> and I'll back up a little bit. But this is a good way for you to be able to learn. And um, I'm actually going to take them off now. 
So I just wanted to do a feature. Oops. Yeah, feature phase. But it is a really good way to actually learn, you know, how to work on yourself. And just to identify it. Because when you can actually have it before you, then you can familiarize yourself with it more. So, so I featured these and do I, do I recommend these? Um, I, I think they're good. You know, like I said, different charts have uh, some of the organs in, you know, in different areas. But as long as it's still, you know, in the general place, then that's good. Just want to make sure, yes, they have the head and the neck, which, you know, those of you who work along with me, we work in this area quite a bit with the brain um, and the face and the head and the neck, and the thyroid and the thymus. Yeah, here I am breaking off into a lesson <laughs> as usual, right? All right, so just wanted to feature these. Now, let's actually do, uh, let's do some work here. So let's do some freestyle, all right? Um, and I'm just going to be present with myself, see um, the guidance uh, for me to do some work on myself right now, and feel free to, to follow along for sure. And as always, make sure that you have some water. I've had some, but I'm going to get my last little sip out of here so that we can work together. Give me just a moment. Okay, all right, so I'm going to start doing some moisturization here. And even though I am starting to moisturize my feet, I'm actually feeling guided to start just doing some massage with my, my hands. So I'm going to start there. So I'm just going to start with some gentle caresses on the top of my hands. And again, feel free to follow along as well or just go with your own guidance. Work the wrist a little bit here. Instead of walking up the spine, what I am going to do is just do some rubbing up the spine reflected here on the hand. Okay, so I'm going to do a little gentle warm-up with, with the feet uh, to start doing some massage, but also a little bit of reflexology as I'm guided. So normally I open up with the hip flexor, but I'm feeling guided to really be gentle with it. I'm not going to do it as long. Dig in just a little. Right. 
and do the spinal twist, foot twist here. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit more lotion. Right. So I'm going to start with some gentle circles here on the tops of my right foot here So actually I am going to work in the adrenal kidney area. So it's all right in here. Adrenal is right under here. Just work in that area and the kidney is right here. Most of the time I like to do little hooks. Yeah. But what I'm feeling guided to do is just you know, do some rubbing. Some light massage here in this area. I'm going to come back later and actually work uh, on myself a little bit more um, extensively, but I'm just doing just what I call some light rev up work, <laughs> so to speak. I found just a little tender spot. But it's interesting it's very faint and I guess because now I'm, I'm rubbing it but right in here I can just feel a little it's a little something there it's no pain just a little twinge but now that I'm actually starting this process I really don't feel it it's amazing with this work how you can have different things going on in the body and you are unaware until you actually touch those areas and then it brings awareness that there is actually something there and when that happens we definitely need to give attention to it and start to move the energy even if you're not having extensive work done on yourself at least move the energy and then make sure too that you are plenty hydrated okay so i'm just going to do just some foot massaging here. And as I mentioned, I'm sure I'll come back later and do a little bit more extensive work, you know, on myself. It's interesting today the tops of my hands and feet are what's requiring more attention and just in a very you know very gentle way I, I don't actually feel like really breaking off into any heavy uh, you know reflexology or, or anything I just um, feel like just moving the energy the, the circulation um, yeah and just being really gentle with myself at this time now who knows an hour from now <laughs> could be totally different I could be digging in you know <laughs> as you all can see there are different variations of how I do the DIY body work and encourage you you know to just really go along with with your body and as you all know I try to make these processes and demonstrations uh, as least intimidating you know as possible because there are different levels of how you need to address your well-beingness and there are times where you certainly need to dig in and uh, be more intense with it and then there are the times where you just need to do really just maybe some light brushing or so 
just really light gentle you know strokes the thing is giving your body the attention that is required for the moment is what's most important and even as I showed the reflexology and acupressure um, socks you know some of you may never feel guided to even get a pair you know of those And that's perfectly fine. There are plenty of charts uh, online. And then, of course, I'm here to teach you. It is always great when you can have a trusted, certified <laughs> authority in that area. And so, you can know that you're getting, you know, as close to accurate guidance as possible. Even as I mentioned, uh, there are different charts that you know have the organs in different areas. But as long as they're kind of in the same general region, it's, it's fine. And so even the socks that I feature today, um, yeah, I, I would still recommend those to be used. But what I am going to do is see if I can locate um, some others and even if they maybe have some gloves so that would be good I just want you all to learn this so that you can continue to take things to the next level and then also too because when I'm demonstrating for you you know you're watching you you're working along with me most of the time but sometimes there's nothing like actually having a chart before you or something before you where you can actually you know really learn that so that if there are times where you can't watch me to do it along with me then you've got um, a good knowledge base and memorization around the different areas and you can feel free to just break off you know <laughs> as you feel guided you know so, yeah All right so what I'm gonna do is give the left foot a little bit of love as well and then I'm going to wrap this um, video up. Like I said, I'll come back and we can do a longer uh, session. I just really wanted to have you all with me when I actually opened up those uh, reflexology acupressure socks. But I didn't just want to do some type of review or some type of just opening it uh, without us actually doing a little bit of work you know on ourselves as well so actually in between my toes here I'm going to get in here this is actually helping to work in the sinus area as well right in here is working the eyes so I'm going to spend just a little bit of time here but I do feel like just digging in just a little bit not necessarily working the sinus pads, uh, just working in here. And I didn't warm the foot up with the hip flexor or the spinal twist because I'm not really feeling guided to break off into really doing any real reflexology. So. But what I will do is actually do liver three here. And that I have this, you know, with me here to do that. Take a deep breath. Okay. So yeah, just giving just a little bit of attention. Like I said, not really doing anything too extensive here. So yeah, like I said, we can come back together and work longer. But this is just a good opportunity for you all to yeah, show yourself some DIY love <laughs> during this time.
Okay. All right. Well, thank you all always for being with me and um, definitely looking forward to bringing you more um, videos. I'll uh, feature these socks again. So I just want you to just get a good little glimpse of that again. They're good to have to learn where everything is so you can just see it kind of in real time with yourself and and be able to work on yourself um, using tools of this nature just to help you become more yeah informed and empowered and of course as always I love to feature my publication I touch myself and I like it DIY <laughs> self massage acupressure reflexology and well flexology journal reporter available on Amazon but there will be a link in the description below for how you can secure a copy and I'll also include information um, about the reflexology acupressure socks um, and their unisex as well so there's you know both males and females can you know use these socks all right so I will be back with more DIY body works tips soon